Hey everyone, it's Tony with Why Not Tech Services. You can find out more about what we, what we do at why-not.tech. But today, I want to talk to you about defending your castle. So, why castle? Well, castles had layers of defense. Pull up a little picture of a castle here. Can't really see it. Still can't really see it, but that's okay. I'm sure you've all seen a castle. You can think of your typical one with a moat around it. We've got watchtowers where there'd be guards looking out. You have archers, maybe uh, soldiers with spears all along the outside perimeter wall. And then somewhere inside deep in the castle is where uh, the vault and probably where the, the royalty would be hidden in case of an attack. And then in the courtyard, there's an area for the defending soldiers of the castle to protect everything else uh, to fight off the attackers. So what does that have to do with computers? Come on, Tony, you're a computer repair guy. <laughs> so your business is under attack. You might not realize it, but all businesses are under attack by cyber criminals. They're looking for ways to get in, to attack your system, to put ransomware on your system, to try to get you to pay them to get your information back. They're trying to steal information so that they can sell it on the black market. All of these things are happening and they're searching for what I like to refer to as low hanging fruit. You might think, oh, my business isn't uh, big. We don't have a lot for them to steal. But if you have weak security and you're easy to attack, you might not have much, but you've got something of value. If you have personal information from your customers and clients, that's information that they can get, they can sell it on the black market. So even if they're not gonna get a ton for it, if it's easy to get in, they're gonna do it. And they have automated programs that are looking for this and looking for uh, networks that are easy to get into. So going back to our castle, what does that have to do with anything? Well, the castle had layers of defense. To attack a castle and get to the vault, you have to get through the moat, first of all, and then you have to get up the walls, which are defended, and then get in, cross the courtyard, and finally attack the actual vault. So with your network security, you should have levels of protection. The first one being a firewall that sits between your network traffic internally and the rest of the internet at large. And that protects um, attacks from getting in. Now some attacks might get through there, just like some attacks might get through the moat and up the wall. So then you need more levels of protection inside your network. Uh, maybe we're talking about endpoint protection, your antivirus systems on the computer. Now I'm oversimplifying this a lot, but the main takeaway here is that you want layers of security. Don't just say, oh, I have a firewall, I'm good, I don't need anything else, or I have antivirus on my computers, I'm good, I don't need anything else. No, you wanna have multiple layers so that if things can get through one piece of your security, it's gonna be stopped by another piece. So with a, a typical stack that Why Not Tech Services does for our clients, we include a firewall, we include the endpoint protection, and we also include something called application whitelisting, um, which basically denies any application or program from being able to execute on your computers without being explicitly told that it can execute. So that way, if a malicious program gets inserted, it's not able to run unless somebody actually tells it it can run, and those are blocked automatically. Hope you guys enjoyed this little analogy. I'm sorry I'm not a castle expert, uh, so maybe I, I got some terms wrong there. You can correct me in the comments if I did, but just treat your business like a castle. Get your security on point. Thanks, everyone.